SPF 101, we're gonna break down the difference between chemical and mineral sunscreen. Before we get into that, you should be wearing a daily SPF of at least 30 because UV exposure is not always related to how warm it is. So just wear it every day and remember to reapply. This is a great chart that depicts the differences between chemical and mineral sunscreen. First up is mineral sunscreen, which works similarly to a shield deflecting the sun's rays off the skin. Mineral sunscreen is most commonly known for its active ingredients that create a white cast on the face. And this turns so many people off of mineral sunscreen because they don't want that white cast, but there have been so many advancements in the SPF world, you can find so many sunscreens that are mineral that won't cause a white cast. One of the main positives mineral sunscreen is it works for all skin types, especially sensitive skin. If you have sensitive skin and you're not sure whether to go for mineral or chemical SPF, use mineral. Now on to chemical. Chemical sunscreen works similarly to a sponge and it absorbs the sun's rays. One of the biggest problems people have when they're starting their sunscreen SPF journey is acne related breakouts, which are called caused by a sensitivity reaction to UV blocking agents. So if you have acne prone skin, chemical sunscreen probably would not be the best option for you. At the end of the day, when it comes to SPF, find what works for you. Always do a patch test before, and as long as you're wearing an SPF daily and reapplying, you're doing it right. 